Hey everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you for joining me today. Today I've got 15 different gift ideas for your hunter that's on your Christmas list. Now if you are a hunter and you watch this video and you see some things on this list that strike your attention, make sure you go ahead and share this list with your significant other or your parents or your children or whoever you think might be buying gifts for you. If you're not a hunter and you're looking for gifts, then go ahead and watch this video and maybe you'll find some good ideas for the hunter in your life. We're going to start at the bottom end of the budget with but gifts that are just a few dollars, maybe good stocking stuffers if you're that kind of a family that do stockings, or maybe just some budget gifts. And then we're going to move all the way up to some much more expensive gifts. Let's start at the bottom. My number one budget gift is gutting gloves. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any here to show you because I was fortunate enough to get to use all mine this year. In fact, um, I didn't stock up on them, and every time I shot a deer and used my pair, I would go buy another pair. Now, gutting gloves are only about $2 a piece, and some guys are real macho and say they don't need them, but once they try them, almost everybody loves them. It's going to be a shoulder length glove all the way up to here. Make sure you get the pair that has the, the shoulder length gloves and then also the latex wrist gloves. So you put the shoulder length gloves on first, put the wrist glove over, and when you're field dressing your deer, it keeps all the blood off of your clothes and just much more sanitary. So those are only about $2 for a pair, and even if your hunter already has some, it's great to have a couple in stock so you never end up in a situation where you need them and you don't have them. Again, only about $2 a set. The next thing would be hand warmers and body warmers. Now these again are cheap. Um, these are two different kinds of uh, hand warmers and body warmers. You can get toe warmers, you can get all different things. On cold days, these are awesome. Uh, they're certainly not gonna make you hot in my opinion, but they certainly help take the chill off. You put them in your boots, put them in your pockets. Um, put them, you know, hold them in your hands, whatever, and they really, really help. Now these again are going to be budget items. You know, you might be able to buy a pack of them for five dollars, or you might be able to buy a much larger pack for twenty-five dollars. So these are great for every hunter in your life. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is not necessarily a store-bought item, but something that you can put together for your hunter, and um, it's what I call my success kit. Now I have a whole video about this on my channel, so I'm not going to take a lot of time. But this is a kit that I put together that I put in my backpack that I'm always ready if I harvest deer. And one of the things I would have in this kit is something like the gutting gloves. I would have a Sharpie to fill out my tag. Here in Pennsylvania, our tags are not easy to fill out with a regular pen. I'd have paper towels to clean up. Um, I'd have zip ties to zip tie the tag to the, the ear or to the, the antler. I'd have a little trash bag in here, a plastic bag for trash. I'd have just some things like that. Maybe some wet wipes if you wanted to do that. But this is something you could put together yourself. I think it's a thoughtful gift, something that's really neat to um, to just really be prepared in the woods. Go ahead and watch that other video on my channel and it will tell you more about that. Number four on the list is a bow rope. Now if your hunter is hunting from a tree stand, this is something they definitely need. This is to be able to get up in your tree stand and then pull your gun or your bow or your backpack up into the tree stand. Now the one thing I like about this particular one is made by Hawk and it has this plastic uh, handle thing that you can wrap your line around. Just like if you were a kid and you had a, a kite string, it's that same kind of an idea. It's a handle. And I love this. Before I had this one, I would always wrap up my rope, stick it in my pocket. And when I would go to get it out, when I got to my tree stand, it would always be in a tangled mess. And I'd spend a bunch of time. This one, super easy to just unwrap it. Um, I always have this clip on here, which comes with it. And I have it clipped to my backpack or my belt loop or somewhere easily accessible. So when I get to my tree stand, I just can unwind it. And uh, actually, a lot of times I have it hanging from my backpack and it will unwind as I climb the tree and then I pull my bow up. This little clip, I did add to it so that I can easily snap onto things around my bow. That was not included, um, but this clip over here was. But this is about $5. I think I saw it on Cabela's website for $5. And this is awesome the way you can wrap it up. I love it. Number six on the list is camo tape. So I've used this camo tape, just got some this year. This is made by the Allen Company. Now you're not looking for something like duct tape, you're looking for cloth tape. This is great for camouflaging uh, anything from guns to cameras. Uh, I started videoing my hunts this year and so I, I wrapped my whole camera arm in this. The camera arm from the manufacturer is black and I just decided to make it look cool and wrap it in this camo tape. Supposedly it does not leave a sticky residue so that is why you want something like this, not just a camo duct tape or gorilla tape, which you can also get. Uh, again, this brand is from uh, the Allen Company, and I believe it runs around 5 or $6. I think you can get it at Walmart. I got mine at my local sporting goods store. Um, but you can also get another brand called Stealth Strips. Uh, in my opinion, this is a lot cheaper. For the same price, I think you get something like 10 yards 
instead of like two feet for almost the same price. The stealth strips are very expensive. I've not used them. Maybe they're a lot better, but I've been really happy with my results from this so far to just camouflage up something that I want to camouflage. Next is an orange vest or an orange hat. So if you're buying for a new hunter, in most states, especially in gun season, hunters are required to wear orange. So um, you could get them an orange hat, um, something like this, or a warm wool hat, or even just a regular orange ball cap, and also an orange vest. And for most states where that require orange, that's gonna be enough to fulfill the orange requirements. Now, I was in a Rural King the other day. If you have that store in your area, it's similar to a tractor supply, it's called Rural King. If you have that, I was in that store the other day and I saw a hat and vest combination for just $5. Now, the vests are probably gonna be a little bit cheaper um, quality, but if you wanted to get something a lot nicer of a vest, you could certainly get something nicer, more fitted, uh, more comfortable, better zippers, whatever. Uh, but for just a few dollars, you can certainly get a hat and vest and get that new hunter in your life started and make sure they're legal when they're going out into the woods. Next thing on my list, I've lost track of what number we're at, is a pair of camouflage gloves. And not just any camouflage gloves, but these would be specifically for archery hunters and those archery hunters who use a release. A release, if you don't know, is uh, something that is like a trigger to use with your bow. And one of the big problems is because it goes around your wrist, is that it's really hard to put gloves on. And these gloves are specially made so that they open up right here and the release comes out this hole and you can cover up that release and you can still feel, get the normal feel, the exact same fit around your wrist, but wear gloves. These are wonderful. These are made by a company called, um, where is it? Manzella, M-A-N-Z-E-L-L-A. I've seen these at Dick's Sporting Goods. I found them on Amazon. Uh, I believe you can get them in the range of about $18 uh, for a pair like this. Uh, this is not a touch compatible, so they don't work with touch screens. You can spend a little bit more and get touch screen compatible ones. You can also get, these are very lightweight for warm weather. And so you can get all different kinds from warm weather, non-touch, warm weather, uh, touch screen, all the way up to very warm, touch screen compatible, non-touch screen compatible. Again, anywhere from maybe around $20 to $40. And these are awesome. I love them. I've had these for quite a few years. Next thing would be a trail camera lock. So if your hunter in your life uses a lot of trail cameras, especially if they're hunting public land. It is so easy to get your trail camera stolen. It's unfortunate, but hunters um, should band together and not mess with other people's stuff, but sometimes it happens. So a trail camera lock is a, a camera, a, a cable basically, that goes around the tree and locks it to the tree. Now this particular one is made by Master. It's called Python Lock. And you just wanna make sure if you, like, you search for Amazon, you get the one with a little bit thicker cable. They make one that's a super small cable. You don't necessarily want that one. You want the one with a little bit thicker cable. And these are gonna run you anywhere from about $15 up to $20, $20, $25 maybe, depending on where you get them. Um, you can also get them in three packs that the keys are the same, uh, so that the same key works for all three cables, things like that. The next thing on my list is one that I can't show you because it's actually on my Christmas list, and it's a rechargeable hand warmer. Now, I already showed you the hand warmers before, but those hand warmers, you, you break them open out of the packaging and you shake them, and then it's basically a chemical reaction that only works for a set amount of time, usually 10 hours, 12 hours at the most. And so they're a one-time use. Now, even though they're not that expensive and I've got a whole pack of them, uh, of them in my hunting kit, I still struggle to use them because I know that once I use them, they're done and I'm using up my stash. And so I'm always hesitant, unless it's super, super cold, I'm always hesitant to use them. Just recently on Amazon, I found rechargeable hand warmers that are a little, it looks like a little battery pack that you use to charge your phone, but you can actually turn it on and create heat. So I don't have a good solid review for you on it to say how it works, but it's something that I know is on my Christmas list and I bet your hunter would like it as well. The next thing on my list is also for archery and it would be if your hunter does not already have lighted knocks. Now a knock is the part that goes on the end of your arrow that snaps onto the string. If you get a lighted knock, how it works is when you shoot, the bowstring pushes that knock forward and it pops the light on. Hopefully you can see that. There it is off, and there it is on. Now what's really awesome about this is if you're shooting in low light, even if it's target shooting uh, in low light, maybe 3D shooting, you can see exactly where that arrow goes. But especially if you're hunting, sometimes in the heat of the moment, uh, the arrow's flying fast, sometimes it's really hard to figure out where did you actually hit that animal that you shot. This makes it so much easier, that glowing light flying through the sky, especially in those early morning, late evening hours when uh, deer and a lot of animals are most active. If you video your hunts, or if your hunter videos your hunts, then definitely these are a must have 
because otherwise it's very hard to see where the arrow flies. But with it, you can see exactly where the arrow flies, where it hit. And so not only you, but also the people watching your video can see where you hit. These are must have. Uh, you can get these on Amazon, some off brand ones for say a pack of six for maybe $20. Or you can get some more name brand ones for in the $30 to $40 price range, but they're gonna be more like a pack of three for $30. Um, this particular uh, light and knock that I use is called the Clean Shot Knockout. And there's a couple features about it that I particularly like that I think is the reason why I chose it. I don't have time to explain all those to you right now, but certainly look out, look up the Clean Shot Knockout Light and Knocks. Next up on the list is a trail camera. I already mentioned the trail cam lock, but if you've got the budget for it, you could certainly get your Hunter a trail camera. Now these are so much fun. Uh, they're getting better and better by the year, taking great pictures, great videos, and you can see what's on the property that you're hunting. And um, they've come down so much in price. This one, I made a video about this particular model, which is the Proof Cam from Primos. And I got it on rebate for about $30. Now, I have not seen that rebate in almost a year. I was seeing it frequently, and now I haven't seen it in a while. Now, just the other day, I was in a, an outdoor sporting goods store, and I saw a Wild Game Innovations on sale for $35. So you can get them inexpensively. Also, that was an on sale price. That's probably normally a little bit more expensive of a trail cam, but you can also go to Walmart and buy trail cams regular price for $28 for their one model and $38 for the other model. And I believe that's a Tasco brand trail camera. I've not personally used it, but I've seen some good reviews on that one. And so if your budget's a little bit lower, you can certainly check those out. If you have a bigger budget, you can go all the way up to several hundred dollars for, for better features, quicker trigger time, uh, more megapixel camera. You can even get ones that have cell phone data that are able to send pictures directly to your cell phone. And so you instantly see what's being taken on your trail camera, depending on your budget. All right, so I moved back a little bit here because I want you to see this next thing. And the next thing is a tree stand safety harness. So many of your tree stands are gonna come with a safety harness. But what I found is they're almost always a pain to use. They're a tangled mess of webbing. It's hard to figure out which strap goes where. You have to weave this through this place. And it's just a total mess. I've always tried to be very safety conscious and wear my harness. But when I was using one of those kind of harnesses, it was just a real pain. And it made it very hard to be consistent about wearing that harness because of the pain to put on. Last year, my parents got me this harness for Christmas. And it's super easy. It's all buckles. You just snap it on. It's got these camo pieces over the shoulders that make it very easy to identify the shoulder pieces. And it just is a lot less tangly. It's super easy to put on. And so this year I found that I was super consistent about wearing it. Even when I was in ladder stands, uh, which you know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, ladder stand, big deal. Well, I just feel like I'm so much more safe wearing this safety harness. And so because it's easy to put on, I was much more consistent wearing it. In fact, it even saved me from a potentially very bad situation earlier in the year because I was wearing this. And so I would recommend that if your hunter does not wear a safety harness, or if they're wearing one of those junky, tangly safety harnesses, that you go ahead and invest in getting the safety harness. And it's gonna be something really special because it's gonna show how much you care about them and their safety and that you want them to come back home to you. This particular model is made by Hunter Safety Systems, HSS, and it runs about $50. This is one of the cheaper models. I think Muddy also makes a model that runs around $50, but honestly, I, I love it. It's done really well for me this year. Uh, if you wanted, you could spend more money. You could go up to $100, $150. There's ones that are more vest style with pockets. There's some that have binocular holders that are built right into it and, and places to put your deer calls and all that kind of stuff. But if you're on a budget, but you really want to make sure your hunter's safe, this is an awesome model. The Hunter Safety Systems. I believe it's called the Bow Hunter. We're getting toward the end of our list here, and we're definitely moving up in price value. But the next thing that you could get is a range finder. Now these are especially useful if you're a bow hunter, but even gun hunters can make good use of these. And basically what they do is they tell you the distance between you and your target. In archery, that's super important. You have to know the distance. And if you're gonna get one of these for an archery hunter, definitely, 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 make sure you get one that has angle compensation. In it. Now different companies call them different things, but basically what it is is if you're in a tree stand, it compensates for the angle of, of your shot. And that will actually adjust the, the distance, the real aiming distance that you need to aim as opposed to one that doesn't actually have that angle compensation. And sometimes it can change your real aiming distance by up to a couple of yards. A, uh, a Bushnell Chuck Adams Bowhunter Edition, I've been really happy with it. Um, I honestly don't remember what I paid for it. I do know that in the last couple of years I've seen range finders for down in the $75 to $100 price range that do have angle compensation. And, uh, but they certainly can go up to several hundred dollars depending on what you're getting. But make sure that you get one with angle compensation. Now the last two things on my list are some bigger budget items. 
and there are a lot of varieties. And so I would suggest that if you're gonna get these, that you really kind of do some digging and find out what your hunter would like. So the next thing would be a tree stand. Now, in my mind, it is hard to have enough tree stands. Now some guys, they only have one tree stand and one, one setup and that's fine. And that might be your hunter style. So certainly try to figure that out. If they've got private land to hunt where they can put different tree stand locations, then it may be that they can't have enough tree stands. But they might want a ladder stand. They might want a climber stand. They might want a hang on stand. They might be the kind that wants the ultra light stand. They might be the kind that doesn't care. They'd rather go for comfort. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of digging, but these are gonna be some items that are probably more in the 200 and up price range. Um, it might be that they've got property and they want a really nice, comfortable ladder stand. I know that I've got some private property that I hunt and the ladder stand is just awesome. It's easy to get into, super comfortable. And so that might be what they want. Uh, maybe they already have a climber stand, but they've been wanting a hang on stand, or maybe they have a hanger and they want to climb on just for some, some flexibility in the location and where they're hunting. It might be they already have all the tree stands that they want, but they want a hunting blind uh, for some ground attacks. So certainly maybe do some digging, some prying, listen to them as they're talking through hunting season and find out what they want. And then the last one on the list is certainly going to be the biggest, probably most extravagant, but if you've got the budget for it and you really want to wow them this year, consider getting them a new gun or a new bow. Now this gets really tricky because there are so many options and especially with bows and guns as well, they can be very personalized. What each person likes, what feels good to them, what, what looks good to them, um, all kinds of things. And if you're somebody who doesn't really know all of that stuff, maybe you're better off just giving them uh, a gift card or saying, hey, after Christmas is over, I'm gonna go with you. We're gonna go to the sporting goods store. We're gonna go to our local bow shop. We're gonna go to our local gun shop and I'm going to buy you what you want within this price range. Um, but that would be just a huge, huge gift. That would be awesome. Now, if you don't know, new bows can range anywhere from 400 for the absolute bottom hunting kind of bows all the way up to $1,500, $1,600. And some of those bows don't have all the accessories with them. That's just for a bare bow. So it's we're talking about a much bigger price range here. Certainly not something that I can afford to give for Christmas. But if that's in your price range, hopefully this gives you some ideas. If these tips have been helpful for you, if there's one especially that stood out, comment down below. Maybe share this video with the person that you want to get you one of these gifts. Also, leave some comments down below about some other good gift ideas. So if you're looking, make sure you scroll down through the comments and hopefully we'll get some conversation going with some other good gift ideas down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, hope you remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.